day everybody welcome back to the studio i hope everybody's well and thank you for joining me today i really appreciate you being here so woo, you can see i've got i've got it all laid out here so today we're going to be making some uh creating some really nice uh dishes and boxes and whatnots and i've got a a spare candle holder here just in case I need some more so ooh, I'm gonna need another cup one two no I don't I'm right so today I'm going to be using these lovely flitters and uh, and some iridescent crushed glass but these guys are so that's why I'm showing you they're so awesome that you wouldn't believe it. there's only 10 grams in here uh, and they, they a little bit goes a long, long way. So they're great. They're only three dollars fifty Australian, which is about two dollars forty American. So cheap as chips. So let's see. I've got them in jars because I like to, you know, I like to have them in jars. But like for me to to sell them in jars, uh, you know, it's just too. It works out too expensive. So some people don't really mind using bags and I have in the past and I still have some things in baggies that I, you know, because you can hang these. But they're nice ziplocky. They've got a nice ziploc uh, and you can see through it and you can hang them. So they're quite nice. But, you know, um, how do we use them? And where do we use them? And you would have seen me use them in a few different things. So here we go. We're just going to get some. I don't think I want too much of this. That's going to be for my glass. And sorry, I don't think you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just pouring. Sorry, I'm just working in a different area right now. Because my other working area is completely taken by other projects that I did I've been very busy testing some new silver and uh, new gold which is uh, an interesting shade of gold so I'm just testing them of course before I decide to use them all right so that is that all in try not to make a mess here so let's go this one's going to be my iridescent glass and i'm going to pour, pour it like i could go and sprinkle this inside so i want that area there to be glass up top let's see let me just pour some in here don't need a lot like i said or you can put as much as you want in there all of the products that I'm using are available in my shop. The molds, the glitter, the glass. Um, and I'm also going to be, oh yeah, okay. So, and I'm also going to be using some um, mica powder. And I just want, this is a mica um flake actually looks a bit like fish scales so i don't need that much resin for this one so i'm just gonna pour some in here maybe i might even pour some in here because i haven't measured any i don't want too much of it i just want a little bit just to see how it looks in these particular um molds so in it goes Again, don't overdo it with uh, how much you're putting in there. See, only a little bit went in there. It's pretty much just floating up top there. And the resin that I'm using today is Platinum 360 Plus. I like it because, see that? <laughs> how interesting. It gives you kind of like a champagne-y colour. Um, 360 Plus is the platinum resin that I'm using today. It sets within a few hours. 
and uh, it sets rocks rock hard. So I want that for my my uh, my my uh, resin pieces that are going to come out of here. So all right, let's see. Might um, okay. Let's just fill all of them. So I'm going to do the blue for the blue. Let's go in with this one. So that wouldn't have been, not even one gram went in there. It's really lightweight. And you can, you can pack lots of them in there, depending on how transparent you want your uh, things to, to look. So if you look at this on the side of the cup here, you can actually see how that will look when it's put in here. But I will spread it around a little bit because see that area is a bit bigger. So I will put some more in here. Give it a bit of a stir and that is it. Now this one, this is my favorite, the Aqua Ice. Absolute favorite. And I'm going to put quite a bit in there just because I love it so much. And look, matching palette, knife stirrer. And I also have these available in the shop too. I've got lots of them, so grab them. They will last you forever if you look after them. So you only need a set of each. There's a set for the uh, larger ones, and these are the medium sized ones. So large ones for a larger um, project. Oh wow, that's going to be so cool. And of course the Snow White, which is this one here, a little bit going in there. And I don't have a matching one for this one, but that's all right. It is, it gets a little bit pinky, so sorry, off screen again. Now this one is really, really special. I had a little bit more in there. So no particular order, but I do know that I want to do the heart in this kind of colour, but I wanted to go in first with the, the glass, iridescent glass, and I've noticed that it's all kind of dropped down to the bottom, so that's why um, I'm stirring it now, but it will drop down to the bottom here as well. Let me swap hands because I'm hopeless with my left hand. So I just want to get a little bit just down the bottom. And I'll put the rest around it. it. This will be quite transparent as you can tell. You can put a little tint in there if you want. Just put a little tint in there to change the colour slightly. But I, I won't do that. I'm going to go around, I think I might just go around this guy a little bit, just around the edge. Like that. I think I'm going to go everywhere with it, by the looks of things. And that'll be the end of that one. That will push down. We're going to make sure it does. Get every bit out. I mixed up about 300 milliliters of resin. Just no, no particular reason why. Didn't measure anything, so push that in there and I realized just now that I forgot to put my gloves on and I've got some resin on my finger all right so that'll push down just got to open that up all right that is that one now next one this is what I wanted to do in here
Make sure it goes all the way to the top. Wow, why did that happen? That's pretty full now. Move this guy out of the way. And I'm going to put some here as well. This is the lid for it. And I've got to make sure it goes all the way up the top. Very hard to see from this angle. Ooh, 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 ooh. Please, I know I do. Okay, that is. I'm not touching that one. That one is full. Like I said, hard to see. That one can get take a little bit more. It's almost almost a couple. Oh, that worked out real good. Okay, that is good now. Let's put you down here for now. Make a mess. Okay, next one. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this blue around this guy. Oh, wow, it's so nice. It's going to be very interesting to see how this turns out. I think that's just about right there. I've got a little bit left over. Wow, it's already looking great, isn't it? Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, and here we go with our blue so that one was uh, the aqua ice this is the iceland and that was snow white so here comes iceland i'm just going to put it here and push that glass out of the way because i wanted that to go down first Oh wow, come on, you're supposed to go in, 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 in. There we go. Wow, this, um, this is pretty cool. This dish, it doesn't really take that much. So it's going to be interesting to see. I might have to grab another couple. Uh, let's grab this one. I, unfortunately, I don't have these molds anymore. To move you. Sorry if I'm shaking you. But I want you to see what I'm doing. Now, I wanted to go in with this guy first. Around the edge. some in there and then I want to go in with the rest of this blue and I might stop there and then I might just go in with some of this aqua but it won't push through this is so light, these flitters, that it will just sit on top like that. That's great, that worked out well.
Okay. Wow, that worked out well. Down you get. And I think I want to sprinkle some on top here. I like to give it some extra. Then I'll have to push it in. Right. So I think I need to get another little mold. Okay. So I've got a little. Can you even see that? I think you can. Oh, sorry, guys. So little angel wings. I am going to pour some of this in there. See if I can go. I might put some more. I might actually put a little bit of the aqua in there as well. Getting a bit thick now. I think. Let's move you guys out of the way. I'm sure you've seen them already. Alright. I think I'm going to go. <laughs> I only have a little bit left. I need a small. Okay. Here we go. Another one. I'm going to move this guy out of the way now. Ooh, that feels warm. Put you here. Okay. So the resin is definitely getting thicker and warmer. So you, this guy is going to go in here. It's just like a face mold. And I'm... Um, sort of guesstimating here that it will fit well not too much and some down here don't know what i'm going to use this for but i'll figure it out i always do Okay, that is that. I found some fishies, some little fish uh, mold. Um, I should have just used, you done the whole thing because I could use them in some of my ocean um, pieces, but I didn't think of it. Um, so anyway, we're going to let this set up and uh, see what we got later on. Bye. Okay, my lovelies, here we are. It is the, it's two days after. I've just been so busy. So here we go. I've already taken them out. Here's this guy, just really quickly. I will take them all outside and take a photo of them, but it's quite transparent as you can see, and it's a really nice, it's a bit of a, uh, that must have been a bubble. Nice and solid, I love this. Put a little candle in there. And Wow, this is just so special. I really like this one too. Could work as a little set. My little angel wings. Excuse my fingers, I've been mixing paints yesterday. Look at that. That is really, really cool. And what else? Oh, yeah my heart this is the lid and I haven't taken this one out I've only got a few of these molds left but look how easy that's coming out of there I always go nice and gentle there we go Let's put it back straight away That is so cute. I really like that. And you can see what's in it. And there goes the lid. Fits beautifully. I really like this one. So that is that one. I might put my angel wings in there. For now. Keep little gems in there. Or little rings. I think Charlie's going to get this. My little grand. Um granddaughter 
Uh, let's see how this one went. Oopsie daisy. Come on, out you come. It's a bead, but wow, that's cool. Oh, wow, that is cool. So it's a bead. It's got a hole there and a hole there. Wow, that is really cool. It's like a little marble. I made a few of these. Kids can play with them. And let's have a look at our fish. Might as well since we're here. And I made them too thick again. I should have just made them like even like a third of the size. It's just hard to, to see inside that mold. And the mold is really, really deep. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? And this is just with a mica. This is like a natural mica flakes in there. These are poly flakes. Something else for kids to play with or use in another piece of art. And now these are super interesting. So quite transparent. And you can see those flakes in there. Very interesting. Very interesting. Not sure what I'm going to do with these, but I will definitely keep them and put them probably in a painting. Oh my god, my hand, my fingers are disgusting. How interesting. Anywho, there you go. Just wanted to show you how you can use those um, flitter, flitter um, flakes or glitter flakes. They're iridescent, so they, they pick up on colors around them, and they also have their own um, holographic color, so it's really, really interesting. Um, let me know what you think, and if you're interested, I do have them in the shop. I have all, all these molds, and except for this one, don't have that one, So, um, but I've got lots of these flakes in the shop so if you're interested pop in and have a have a shop around bye for now